guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is pouring outside right now. Today is Monday. I went to Tennessee this weekend for a wedding and I'm back. I'm having, well, I always say my annual Sophie days, but we do these like once a quarter, once a quarter. Why do I sound like, it was so gross, like corporate -y? We do these seasonally, so we're doing our like, Halloween day, or fall day if you will. We're just gonna go to the pumpkin patch that we love going to and it is pouring. So we're gonna figure something else out. I normally don't vlog with Soph, but she loves vlogging. So I will let her vlog a little bit today. If y'all are new here, subscribe. Tickets for the Dallas Live Show are available. Get them now, November 11th at the factory. You wanna get them as soon as possible. I hope it's not too loud out here. We're going to Starbucks, we're probably going to Target, and then we're gonna go to my mom's house and you know do some little fall things there. I'm really sad we can't go to the pumpkin patch. I was very excited, but it's gonna be a good day. And then tonight, I'm hoping I have the energy to go through my closet. I need to clean it out so bad. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this little week in my life vlog. It's gonna be a good one, I'm very excited. All right guys, I have the star. What did you wanna to say to the vlog? I missed you so much. Oh, she missed the vlog, guys. Your new beanie. Isn't that just so cute? Yeah. We're gonna go to the drive-thru and at Starbucks. We are in the drive-thru at Starbucks right now. It's pouring, so we're gonna go to Grandma and Grandpa's house instead and Target instead of the pumpkin patch today. But we're getting, are you gonna get a pink drink still? Or do you wanna try something new today? Pink drink, oh. that's why I always get a pinkity drinkity. Pinkity drinkity, I got her a pink drink. La actually, it was like either last year's fall day or the year before that, um, and I created a monster. I didn't realize it was her first time having Starbucks, and uh, that's what you get when I'm in charge of children, so. But now you love Starbucks. Yeah. It's like your favorite thing to go do, right? Yeah, she's obsessed. Okay, well, we're gonna have a really good day. We love you, vlog. We love you, vlog. <laughs> okay, Sophie, do you think I'll get married one day? Who do you think I'll marry? I don't know. You don't know? What do you think he'll be like? He might be blonde. Blonde? Okay. And he might be tan. Like a Ken doll. Do you think you'll like him? Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. What are you gonna do when I have a kid? I don't know. You'll probably be like a teenager. I was thinking about that the other day. It'll probably be in the next like five to 10 years. And you're seven now. Wow, you could be like an adult. You could be the age that I was when your mom had you. Really? Yeah, I was 18. Pinkity drinkity. Oh, pinkity drinkity, everyone. We're in my hometown and they moved the Starbucks and it's not the same Starbucks that I had growing up that I would go to before high school every day. And I'm like getting sad. at the baby clothes section. Why? Because um, I'm having a baby brother. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. I just found this one that says, hello sunshine. It's so cute. She won't let me pay for it. She has her own money and she's been counting it. Yep, yeah. I have $12. You are so independent now. You're just like me when I was yep. little. Those are cute too, so. This one says, adventure, adventure with, with me. me. What about like cute little like shoes? Here. Look how cute these boots are. Those are so cute, and there's also like little sneakers. Yeah. <gasps> Look how cute these are. Those are so cute, so. so cute. Those are I, so I cute. I like these ones the most. Oh, I do too. I think your your dad would also like those a lot. Yeah. My dad, I think, has this kind. Yeah, those are cool. I feel like just yesterday I was shopping for you and you were a little baby. <laughs> I keep crying today. Oh, these are cute too, Soph. All of these oh, are yeah. cute. You have to just decide. This is the cute section. Oh, it is? Let's see. Oh, those are so cute. That's six month though. That's not newborn. Well, we could look find like newborn. One. Oh my God, even the pants. Yes, yeah. <gasps> look at the sock, so. I wanted to have a girl because I would do makeup and paint its nails. Well, you wanted to do that. You said because you wanted her to go to Starbucks with us and vlog, but your yeah. little brother can do that too. Yeah. Yeah, true. But he won't like Starbucks. He might, you never know. Oh my God, that is really cute, so. We're making some snacks. Soph and Grandma Mill, what she calls it. Wow, I've been working on the house. Your house isn't really in the middle of, oh, okay. How are you feeling about the house? Who's gonna live here? Frankenstein. Oh, Frankenstein's gonna live here? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, draw him. Okay. It's 5 p.m. and I'm home. Just got the coolest box from Stella. First off, like look at this. It says Kinsey Elizabeth, it's etched into there with a little star. I mean, I just feel so cool. This is so perfect for fall. And then a great hat and then also an incredible sweatshirt. Like the quality of this is great. The back is incredible. I mean, this is like so cute. So 
Thank you. Oh my god, I'm like so excited. I was actually craving tea earlier today. I was thinking about how I want tea. And David's Tea just sent me all of this stuff. I am not like the biggest tea drinker, but then it becomes fall and I'm like, this is all I want. Look, I got the fall phase, more tea, soothing minty relief, and then the pumpkin chai chai. I don't know how to say this. Cozy fall eve. No, fave. Not what am I? Guys, I don't know. Oh my gosh, so much tea. I don't even know what this is. I'm really gonna be a tea drinker after this. Look at all these teas. With, then they're color coded. That is incredible. A spoon, I mean, this is a mistake. Okay, and this is like the special mug. I've never used one of these, so this is what I'm gonna use tonight. I have this like lid, I guess. Oh, okay, but it's a steeper. Okay, I got confused. This is the mug that I was thinking, and I mean, it matches my house. I'm gonna use this every night. My fall night routine, <laughs> there is really nothing like it. I'll be doing that tonight. Making a quick, easy dinner. I, I need to be eating like whole foods because I just, I'm craving like fish and vegetables, but I'm gonna make good olds um, because this is actually what's like winning, you know, and I don't really feel like going grocery shopping. These are like better for you. They're like mac and cheese, but this one is the twist my parm. They're so good. I love these. I've been making them. I, they sent me like eight boxes and I'm like halfway through it already. And that was only like a week or two ago. They're just so good. Okay, sorry to keep talking about teas, but look at this. S'mores chai, creme brulee, pumpkin. French toast. I mean, these just sound incredible. All right, y'all. I am going to go through and get rid of tops that I just don't wear because I am out of hangers and I'm not buying more hangers. I'm getting rid of clothes that I do not wear. It's like 7.30 now. Pretty late for me to be doing something. I'm also going to measure here because this is what I've been thinking lately. I think I might move this over here and I'll move the mirror and this stuff over here and get a really small vanity. Danny sent me the one that she has and I think it might work size wise. So I'll have a little place to do my makeup. And then in here, I'm gonna turn this into a cowboy boot closet. I just like still haven't found someone who can do it. So I'm gonna try to find someone tomorrow on TaskRabbit. Um, and that is kind of the plan. The only issue is that having this here will be annoying because this opens up and then like my cowboy boot closet, but it's also on wheels. I do have a rug now, so that is kind of annoying, but I don't know. I, like, I do use this a lot. That's the thing, just to have stuff out, like, more readily available. I plan outfits out on here. I just, you know, I do a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do want a vanity to, like, get ready and do my makeup with, and this time of year, like, I love getting ready um, just for, like, going out and stuff. I get, I, I spend a lot more time on my makeup in the fall and winter than I do in the summer and spring since it's so hot. So I'm at least gonna try it. I'm gonna measure it and see.
Good morning, y'all. It is 8.30. I had a nice little morning of reading. I did morning pages. I got some work done. Oh, I forgot to make the thumbnails again. Oh my God. Anyways, I am getting ready. My grandma is coming over. Today is going to be hopefully the actual final day working on the rooftop. Okay, there's well, one that just poured the past two days. That's not good for my garden, not good at all. But like literally almost immediately after we put like the basil and stuff in the garden, which by the way, my grandma does garden. So it's not like she doesn't know what she's doing. Um, things just like went south and we're thinking it's like the stuff that we like sprayed on it to grow. We're thinking that that stuff's bad or she's thinking that. Also, I'm doing a very minimal little like no makeup makeup look. I love this uh, like Hollywood flawless filter stuff. It's incredible. I'm breaking out a little bit from travel. That's like one thing I'm really looking forward to the next two months because I'm home um, is getting my skin to stop breaking out from travel. So I have a new raised garden bed. I'm gonna have two that's being built today. So that's gonna be situated. I have a fence and a little storage unit that's being put up there to hide the AC. And then the storage unit is actually gonna go like behind that. What else is new? So the new garden will be done. We're gonna hopefully fix all that stuff. I've got a lot to bring up on the roof today. I have a task rabbit coming at 11. So I've gotta get up and get going. I'm gonna go to Redenta's this morning. It's starting to feel like fall 2020, 2020, 2021 of 2021, which if you guys didn't know, we're like literally the my favorite few months of my life. Like not to be dramatic, but they were so much fun. Spam risk, like call me one more time, I swear. By the way, I'm like all over the place. By the way, I am going to be giving an update on my lip blushing and microblading, but I haven't like passed the time yet to where it's like officially set in. So I have been documenting my healing process which was not that bad. Anyways, it feels like this time of year, last year, I think it's like the new Taylor Swift album too. Dom's coming this weekend, it's Halloween, Halloween weekend, if you will. Also, by the way, I actually love this Kosa's powder. At first, I didn't know how I feel about it, and then I used it more, and like, I love it. It blurs out your skin. Like, the difference is crazy. I will link this below, because it's so good, oh my god. Thursday, I got invited by brands to the Chris Stapleton concert, and I think we have floor seats. I can't tell on the ticket, but I'm like so excited. Then this weekend, we're doing something with Lexus and Dom's. I plus one to both of these. Dom is coming with to both of these. Um, I'm staying at the Rosewood at Turtle Creek, which I've always wanted to stay there, and we're going to see Lizzo in a suite on Friday. Um, I do need to like dress up at some point for these things. I think we have a Halloween party this weekend. I'm not really sure, but like it's just. It's gonna be like the best time ever. I really wanted Dom and I to be able to have like a fall mall day because we always do that, but I don't think we're gonna have like a full day, but I think we might be able to go like Friday morning unless we do end up having this lunch thing, in which case we will see. But I also love this Kosas fan brush for my bronzer and I just pack it on like that. I realized with all TikTok, it's like if you go like this, that's why your, br your bronzer looks muddy. So then I started going like this and it's crazy. It's crazy what it's done. I also said I wasn't gonna wear, like, do my makeup much. And now here I am adding more stuff, and that's because I'm talking. The second I start filming or talking, I just, like, keep going, you know? I also have been using this again. I got it at the Ulta and Target. It's gonna be a great day. Tonight I might have dinner plans. I can't tell. I need to, like, do 12 through 30 at some point. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm just... I'm in such a good mood. All right, here's my look for this morning. My set is Aritzia, it's the one I got in New York. I've been wearing it like nonstop. My sweater is Abercrombie. It is such a good sweater. They have the best sweaters for the best price. Also, if I don't get rid of that stuff today, someone, I've been like spam me in the comments because this is driving me insane and it's too colorful for my room. My bedroom is neutral because it calms me down. I look over here, not, not it, okay? Um, and then my set, again, okay, Aritzia, my chocolate brown Uggs, my first time actually wearing them. Cannot believe I didn't have them before. And then my Chanel bag, I'm going to Redentas. I might go get some coffee, I don't know. I think my grandma should be here in like an hour, so I've kinda gotta hurry up. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, I got my first pumpkin spice latte this season. I love a pumpkin spice latte. I have to get like actual coffee normally, so I don't get them 24-7. I used to like literally live off of them. Listening to Chris Stapleton to just 
I mean, I always listen to Chris Stapleton to be fair, like at least once a day. But to really just get in the mood for Thursday, this is my first hot drink of the season. I'm just, I love starting my day off at the plant store. Redentas is where it's at. I also love Lowe's and I love Home Depot, I will say. But in Dallas, like in the city, Dallas proper, like more central, I don't know. Like it's not, there isn't one that's like super close to where I live is what I'm trying to say. So, and by that I mean it's like 10 minutes away. And because everything that I do is, well it's like, 15 minutes okay okay and that feels like so far away to me because everything that I do is within like five minutes of where I live but if my like LA self heard me say that I would want to punch myself in the face because every single thing I did was like 40 minutes away like the city is so spread out um so yeah anyways I just have become like incredibly lazy and very spoiled because that is one amazing thing about Dallas besides Bishop Arts that's a little bit more south or just like a little bit more further outside the city even though it is the coolest neighborhood in dallas anyways i just like i keep rambling on i'm like getting in my head again about like a vlog not being good and like why do i do that i need to just like do it and vlog you guys like hanging out you're down for the ride you know what i mean All right guys, I just left Redenta's. I went without my grandma and like, I don't know what I'm doing when I go to these plant stores. Like, I almost got uh, ornamental kale, which was literally not the point. Um, and then I thought maybe I want to keep it and use it because like ornamental means like it's for decor obviously. And then I just went back and I got seeds. I don't even know if I got the right stuff. I spent so much money and I just got, you guys will see how many seeds I got and be like, oh wow, wow. Like I really thought, you know? Um, I just got a lot as backup, and just to see. Cause you know, who knows? Um, but I do have a task grab it coming at 11 and I'm hopefully he can carry all this stuff to the rooftop. Well, here's my only complaints about my home. I sure don't have complaints. These are the only things that I would change. Um, one, another bedroom, because then I would like literally not move for like 10 years. And then two, and also like, I could have my little brother live with me or something and that'd be fun. Two, um, the stairs, guys. It is so much, imagine like having to bring things to the rooftop. Stairs are a lot because you have to carry like all the stuff up, like four flights of stairs and it doesn't, you just, it's so humbling because you realize that you are not as in shape as you thought you were, you know? I got more like potting soil, the raised bed mix, lots of seeds, like things are happening here. favorite task rabbit his name is Rodney he's incredible um, he came over and he put together my second raised bed this fence and then I also added some storage back here I have some basil and oregano here some thyme here this hasn't been done the umbrella cover that we got isn't gonna work so my grandma's gonna have to like cut it and then do some velcro and some stuff there I really am like a grandmother right now I have my sweet tea my garden this stuff um, I left outside while it poured this weekend. So I'm letting it dry out and then it's gonna go in my storage bin. I'm gonna sweep and kind of fix, you know, what I can of the floors. We also have a hose that's awesome that I connected, but we just realized that my hose isn't working just in general, the like spout part, not not this one, like down by the house. So my HOA has to fix that. Um, but yeah, this is the update on the roof. 
it's looking good except for the floor we've got things happening oh we added some kale you can't really see most of it this is romaine lettuce this is arugula the oregano over here so a lot of like the basil and stuff didn't do well here so we took that stuff out and then we still have like peppers and onion and garlic and stuff here the oregano has been fine oh we have to plant cabbage still this has been very good i am gonna need to get one more of these fence things to block it off there but i, I feel like it will give it more stability but having this blocked off makes it look a lot nicer so i really just need to clean up tonight uh, maddie's gonna come over so i want to you know impress my friends look at little fitz he's just so happy <gasps> aren't you so happy Oh my gosh, you're so cute. All right, guys, it is only 1 p.m. and we've gotten so much done on the roof. The hose is pretty much installed. Everything is pretty much done besides the umbrella. I need to clean the rooftop, like the actual stuff today, the like roof floor. Fitzy, give me a breath. Look at him, guys. He just is laying here, but now he's sitting up because I'm talking. Hi, Mr. Fitz. I think I'm gonna do 12, 3, 30. And then I need to go to Trader Joe's and Sprouts because I wanna get flowers from Trader Joe's, I think. I think. And then I also want to get groceries for the week. I'm gonna make some soup. I might even make my tortellini kale Italian sausage soup. Oh, and I could get this stuff from Jimmy's. Or you can make homemade pizzas from Jimmy's. I can't decide what I wanna do. When I get back from a trip, I'm not in like a super cooking mood for probably like two days. And then I know. So like I want to like be inspired and know what I wanna cook before I go to the grocery store. So hopefully that happens while I'm on 12, 3, 30. Also, look at him now. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so handsome. Okay, I'm forcing myself to do a quick little 12, 3, 30, which realistically is gonna be 12, 3, 20, because I just got back to it yesterday. My set is your of ours. It's so soft, so comfortable, so flattering. And this stuff, guys, is really bothering me. Let me just move this. Wow, it looks much better. Um, I'm gonna go do a little 12, 3, 30, and then I'm going to Sprout and Trader Joe's. So, that is what's on the agenda. Um, I do need to get a little more work done. My friend's coming over for dinner tonight, Maddie Trapp, who, if you guys watch my channel, actually, she's literally the reason I have a channel. She's who showed me YouTube in the first place. We were like best friends growing up. She's one of my best friends, but um, she's coming over tonight for dinner. And I'm gonna cook and I need to still water a little bit of stuff on the rooftop, but I took my makeup off, which I only had like the Hollywood glow filter, but my eyes hurt. My eyes always hurt. Always. I never filmed out here anymore because it's where the Okine inventory is. But back during 12 3 30, I also hate the color of these walls. Once we get an office for the Okine, I'm like, I don't know what I can film back here. Once we get an office for the Okine, I will get back to this and like probably be working out here again. I always find that I work out here more in the fall and winter, mainly just because I don't love working out right when I wake up as much then. I have my TV. We're going to put on a podcast and. Get on the treadmill. Back to Sprouts we go. guys I'm back doing a little haul I got some flowers I really held back this time because I just felt like I always have too many fresh flowers and this I felt like was just enough I also got my Italian sausage from Trader Joe's because I weirdly like the Trader Joe's Italian sausage better than the sprouts one which is like the one thing I like better there I mean I love Trader Joe's don't get me wrong but nothing like sprouts you know i got some frozen pizzas because i just think that they're nice to have i never have like frozen food and i've been noticing it more when people are coming over like i always just like fully cook but if people come over last minute i don't have food so frozen stuff kale green onions kale again yellow onions oh i've been loving it's the honey nut squash they just had this out at sprouts and it's really good i peel it i chop it up i put some honey on it and then i put it in the oven i think at 425 for like 12 15 minutes and it's really good i got some bell peppers i'm actually learning how well this one's easy to make but i love drunken noodles from zap kitchen specifically in dallas but like anywhere it's like my comfort meal it's my go-to it's my hungover meal. i mean it's like literally everything to me and i eat it a lot so I was like, I want to find a way to make it from home and maybe make it a little bit healthier, which I'm not sure how much healthier this is gonna be. Um, but yeah, anyways, chicken breast, chicken broth. I'm making the go-to 
soup, and I might make a reel of it again. It isn't my recipe, but I just get questions about it all the time. It's actually from the Modern Proper. Um, so I think I might make a video of it tonight. Tortellini. Oh, I got this flatbread pizza that looks so good. This is tomato sauce, caramelized onion, and balsamic glaze. I love balsamic glaze. Bacon for breakfast. I like making bacon and sauerkraut. It is so good. Shredded carrots. I love kettle and fire. It is like my favorite bone broth ever. I always have it just stocked. I normally, bone broth is expensive. So I'm cooking for a lot of people. I use chicken broth. But if I'm just cooking for like myself and someone else or whatever, I try to use bone broth. Anyways, they came out with soup. This is the broccoli cheddar bone broth soup. And I love this soup. I grew up on this from Panera. If you know, you know. Heavy whipping cream, some rice noodles. Mango chunks. Oh, mushrooms. I got soy sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce as well, and then crushed tomatoes. So that's my little grocery haul for today. I'm gonna put it away. I have a lot to do. It's all out, and I'm gonna snack on my mangoes because I'm actually really hungry. Maddie's coming over in like two hours, and I wanna shower and stuff. I, I just gotta, I'm gonna get going with my day. I'm actually like really tired. I think it's because I've been outside majority of the day, but. I'm in a great mood. Okay guys, I've been cooking, the fire is on. I was playing at Taylor Swift, watching some vlogs, making my favorite go-to soup. It's the kale tortellini Italian sausage soup. I'm filming a video making it right now. You guys need um, like a refresh, but also it's actually, the recipe is from the Modern Proper. So um, like that's where I always like look at the recipe. At this point, it's literally the easiest thing in the world to make, but it is so good. It is such a crowd fave. Also, Look at what we have here. Let us not forget, this drops next month. And I accidentally got paint on mine, so I will be ordering another one. But, I mean, it's so cute. This is the soup. It is so good. <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm in an incredible mood because I'm wearing a vest and that means it is cold outside. I'm trying to see what it is. It's 50 degrees. It's not that cold, okay? But like this works, right? I have my coffee. I'm on my way to my weightlifting class and then about once a week I'll do infrared sauna and cryo right after I go to restore hyper wellness and I pay for my membership and stuff. Like it's not actually, well, I do pay for my membership, but I might have something exciting coming up. Anyways, today's kind of like an errands catch up day and I have a hair appointment, which like hair appointments literally take 17 hours. Like I'm so over getting my hair done. I have been since I started. I just am so over it and I have extensions, so it like takes longer and I just can't do it. But anyways, the dogs are getting baths because Dom comes in tomorrow and so they want to impress her. I also made Dom's favorite soup last night, so it'll be ready for her when she gets here tomorrow. Tonight, we just like had a fun little catch up. There really is nothing like having people around you or like friends, very close friends that you've grown up with. Like Maddie was like my closest friend growing up or one of my closest friends. We have been through literally everything together. Also, we're talking about adult friendships. This is a side note. And I say this as someone who like, I hang out with my friends like literally all the time, but we also live right next to each other and we have pretty similar lifestyles. But we were just talking about how like when you are an adult, obviously I do spend a lot of time with my like girls here because they live here, we like live more. We're kind of like living the same life right now but as you get older and your friendships change and stuff and you see people a lot less I think people I've talked about this on the podcast before but like as you get older you almost have to like almost like redo the friendship like just basically the concept of like your friendships will change and it doesn't mean that they're any less strong or less meaningful or personal or they care about you any less it's just like people grow up and they have like different priorities and different things going on so like for example like maddie and i growing up 
probably hung out every we hung out all the time for years and years and years but like we can't do that now but it doesn't mean the friendship means any less you know and I had a hard time with it at one point like that's why I had this lesson because I think I thought things would be a certain way and they weren't but it's also like you grow up and things change you know what I mean I'm also excited to be in the chair today because I don't know about you guys but like I get so much done when I'm sitting in a hair salon chair I don't like being there because I just get antsy and I'm there for it takes like literally your whole day up I get so much done and I have so much to do so I'm very excited for that tonight I'm hoping I make my drunken noodles recipe um we'll see or my new dish um I'm not sure if that's gonna happen but I'm tired and tomorrow it's a really crazy weekend I'm so excited we're going you guys will see it actually in the next vlog but it's gonna be such a good time my coffee you guys can screenshot it for the order i added cinnamon to it i don't normally do that but i'm gonna go in here for 45 minutes i'm doing a meditation from the superhuman app and then i also bring my kindle to read my kindle's always fine in here my phone's normally fine in here sometimes i leave it out um it just depends i do kind of leave it out actually a lot um if i just don't want to be on it but sometimes i'll do like a q a or something in here you're not really supposed to keep it in but my phone's always been fine I just got home to a package from mega babe and they have like basically like boob sweat stuff which is like a big issue in the summer for me drives me insane and conveniently they also have deodorant and i just ran out of it this morning like they have so many like really great products that i feel like are not that popular Base bar, detoxifying, charcoal underarm bar. This stuff's awesome. I love that they literally have a butt mask. Like that is crazy. It's very exciting. This will come in handy. I don't necessarily need it like right now. I need it in the summer. But I'm always looking for products like this. So if you guys also have these issues, definitely check it out. There's another deodorant and another deodorant. Incredible. Okay, I just dropped the dogs off to get their baths, and now I'm going to get my hair cut. So I'm actually not getting, well, I am getting my hair cut, but I'm getting color. I haven't even looked at what I want. That's not good. And my extensions, like we're just, I don't even know. My sister does my hair. If you're in Dallas, Global Group Hair Dressing. It's a really long name, and I always say it wrong, but it's at Global. That's what I always say. Madison Piper does my extensions and my color. She's the best. And then Gus um, cuts my hair, and they're just incredible. So you guys need to go check it out. I'm here a little bit early because my sister requested that and um, I gotta go. It is a lot later and I'm going to do a skims haul. I had two packages come in today. Yes, I do work with them, but I most of these orders, unless you guys see me like posting it on the ad on Instagram, I would say like most of them I'm buying. In this case, two separate orders that came in today, I bought. So I'm a huge Skims fan. I'm a huge customer. Like I literally make at least one order a week. Anyways, first thing I got chocolate brown pajamas. So these are some of my favorite pajamas ever. They're my most worn. It's between these and the Everj. So now that I said the Everj ones this today on Instagram, I don't think I've even vlogged about this, but I got Everj pajamas last week, and they're life changing. Everyone's asking like which one's better. I would say Everj are a little bit lighter, so it depends on like your preference. I like like, like thick cozy pajamas and these are one a better price point and two just they're incredible and they're also like a little more flattering than the everyday ones but the everyday ones are also just really soft it just depends they're both like really high up there i have bought this is my fourth pair myself of these and i've bought at least at least like eight other pairs as gifts like that is how passionate i am about these pajamas i got the long sleeve i believe this is actually the pajama top um but i'm gonna wear it as just like a long sleeve top because i think it's super cute and then this is like probably what i'm most excited for they came out with my favorite dress this is the most flattering dress ever like you put this on and you're like just snatched they came out with it in my favorite color chocolate brown so i will obviously be wearing this all the time i would wear this to chris stapleton tomorrow but i already have my outfit and i'm already excited for it so i'll find something else to wear it to but it is just like 
the most perfect dress you need to have these dresses in your closet they're such a staple if you don't know what to wear if you're just stressed out you don't feel good in anything or whatever it is that dress has saved me so many times i have it in black i have it in pink i have the spaghetti straps in pink and i have the spaghetti straps in black like i just love them just got some more long sleeve tops because i can never have enough long sleeve tops I also got this in chocolate brown. I got these in a size medium or a small. I alternate between a medium and a small in skims. I wear a small in the dress and things that are like tight fitting. And then I wear a medium in the pajamas. So I like my pajamas like a little bit looser. I could wear a small. Like I could say like true to size in skims. Even though I'm not. I'm like a medium. You go back and forth. But I just like it to be like a little bit looser. So. Oh I also got. This is for the Fits Everybody collection the turtleneck they sent this to me in pink and i love it but i just needed it in brown because i'll wear it all the time it, like my closet up here is about to be like 50 percent skims like it's literally all i wear and then i also just got a white long sleeve because i can never have too many and they're just the best so i'm very excited i'm gonna go shower and self tan and then i'm gonna make drunken noodles from home i'm not even hungry but tonight it's really the last time this week that I'll have, like, time to cook more. And BFS podcast is coming out tonight. And, like, you know, just catching up from the D'Amelios. I'm, like, really into this stuff right now. So, anyways, I love my hair. I feel, like, so much, just so much better. My hair is definitely damaged. I'd be focusing on taking care of my hair. I got some new products. Listen to my sister. I am going to go on Nutrafol because I've lost a lot of hair in recent years. One from COVID and then also I'm sure bleaching it is not helping. I wanted to do Nutrafol because I love them and I've used them before their podcast sponsor but I got laser so I was like am I can I not use Nutrafol because then it's going to grow hair everywhere and I read online that it really focuses on like your hair in your head so we'll see at this point i don't care i just want my hair to be like long and thick and healthy my hair naturally used to be like thicker than this oh also i got this i've been seeing people post a lot about this on instagram um and i think it's just like a moisturizer that you put on it's really good for underneath makeup yeah it's like a makeup primer moisturizer moisturizing mask so i'm excited i have to try this out tomorrow <laughs> Okay, so I just finished. I tried out like a healthier drunken noodle recipe. It was super easy to make. So I'm gonna try this and then once I like kind of, I don't know, I will eventually like make a video making it, but I think I'm gonna wanna make some tweaks. So anyways, it smells really good. Good morning, y'all. Had a very productive little morning at home. I did all my laundry, made some TikToks, read, watched the new Kardashians episode, and now I'm going to Pilates. My set, I think these are girlfriend. I do not know where this top is from. I honestly have no idea. My sweater is Zara, and it's just so comfortable. Kind of looks like a robe. I mean, it's definitely like a long cardigan, obviously, but it's just so cute. And then just wearing my little like frilly socks and my Ugg mini. So that is my look for Pilates. I need some water and then I'm gonna leave. Today I actually have an appointment that's starting with Dr. Eamon, not actually Dr. Eamon, but I'm getting a brain spec. I'm sure actually a lot of you guys have seen it on the Kardashians, but if you've watched my vlogs, I have read so many of his books. I've listened to so many of his podcasts. I've always wanted a spec scan. So I'm going to get that next week but we have a little like pre spec skin call today and then dom gets here this afternoon we have chris stapleton tonight um i'm just so excited i want to take you guys to the closet to see a little update so i just went through more clothes to give away this morning so this is a bag for my friends this is taryn's birthday gift that i got literally a month for her birthday and it's not been given to her and her birthday was like a while ago so anyways Actually, over a month ago. Okay, well, here we are. I have a vanity that's coming for this corner right here. So the dimensions w should fit. It should be fine. And I got it um, like a super mini one. A lot of people in New York City have them. It's from Vanity Impressions or Impressions Vanity, where the mirror is actually from. 
But what I'm worried about, since obviously it's gonna be really small, one, like, will my arm, like, hit this wall when I'm doing my makeup? Two, I didn't think about the fact that there's a doorknob there. So, I don't know how that's gonna work with when I put the mirror up, because that'll make it come out more this way. So, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm going to store the suitcase inside the luggage so it just, like, looks cleaner, but I have to pack for this weekend because we're staying at the Rosewood with Lexus, so I keep them keeping those out right now. I have my clothing rack right here. Sorry for the glare, um, but I pulled some things for this weekend that I think I'm gonna wear. Um, I might, like, okay, I normally go all out, like, I wanted to do, like, a Britney Spears Halloween costume, but I'm at events both nights this weekend, and then I go straight from the events to the parties, so I need to wear something that I can just, like, wear to, like, we're going to, like, a steak dinner, you know what I mean? Um, I might wear this to Lizzo, or I might wear this and be Barbie, and then I might wear this and be Hannah Montana, just wear, like, heeled boots. Tonight to Chris Stapleton, I'm wearing this sweater, and then I have three pairs of jeans. I have three bags that I pulled for this weekend, so this is the Coach, like, pillow tabby bag. I love it. I actually kind of wish I would have gone, oh, no, what's that? Oh, just a little stain. I kind of wish I would have gone a size to, like, the smaller one. I feel like I don't use it as much as I should. Um, but it would look really cute with my outfit tonight. I'm just assuming I can't wear this big of a bag to the venue. Um, this one is a pink Balenciaga, obviously, for the Barbie one. And then this is a little black Balenciaga. I got this at the outlet, and it was such a good buy. It's so small. Like, it basically fits my phone, lip gloss, and a wallet. But it's perfect for, like, the bars and for concerts and stuff. So I actually have gotten so much wear out of this. I've gotten so much wear out of both of these bags. And I need to get more wear out of this one. I got it for Christmas, and I really wanted it. And I just feel like I don't wear it enough, um, but I'm gonna like definitely style it more this winter. So anyways, the sweater I got, Dom and I were obsessed with these sweaters from Free People. I got it in a size large and I think I maybe should have gotten a medium. I have it in black and I have it in blue and the black one is like one of my most worn sweaters. And they like relaunched them on the site and they're the best sweaters ever. So I'll link them below. Um, I love them, just super oversized, but I'm gonna wear this jeans and then my new Jacobas that are so cute. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm back from Pilates. I got a Smoothie King smoothie. Last night, I ordered some color pencils and a new adult coloring book to do when I have friends over. I did it at TK's and it was really fun. I was like, I, I actually need more. I also restocked on some Summer Fridays phase. This is the best oil you will ever, ever put on your face. The Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. I ordered them on Amazon so they would come faster. It literally came within like less than 24 hours, but this oil is incredible. I'm gonna try out their little cloud dew. I think I've had this before. I don't remember how much I liked it. I love their like lip treatments. So good, I need like all of them. Um, but yeah, I love this. I got a new face mask too from them that already came in. I'm just so happy to have this back in my life. I have my new outfit on since Pilates. That screen, guys, I've changed it and it keeps coming back. My top is one of the new Skims tops. I just have these sweats from Airy. They're not like sweats I wear out like fashionably. They're ones that I like wear as lounge because they're just the comfiest clothes ever. My Zara cardigan I was wearing earlier. And of course, Uggs. It's literally all I wear. I'm drinking, okay, my hair looks crazy because I just got a Pilates. Um, and I'm drinking Smoothie King. I love these smoothies. I grew up on Smoothie King. Okay, I have my Amen Clinic intake slash history Zoom meeting. So I've had this plan for a few months. They're coming to Dallas and they reached out and it's like literally a dream come true. So I'm doing my call history thing. I've already filled out my like medical history, which took like an hour. It was like really, really intensive. Um, but if you guys don't know Dr. Amen, he's like basically like the leader in brain health and it's just so fascinating Like I was so obsessed with this stuff, especially in like 2020 So I'm just like really excited to actually get a scan next week, but today we just have like an hour-long call that is Just on like my medical history and stuff. This is like too hot right now But I, I like so badly want it to be cold enough to wear that but it's gonna be a really really great time and I'm very excited and they're gonna film the whole thing so there's gonna be videos I'm sure I'll post stuff but on their YouTube channel there's gonna be like a full video and stuff it's gonna be really fun so anyways having a great day and Dom lands in two hours so I'm gonna go pick her up from the airport I need to get Starbucks on the way I have her soup waiting for her the dogs have been groomed everything is ready and set for her her favorite breakfast is waiting for her tomorrow morning it's just a great time this time last year 
was literally the best like six weeks two months of our lives and it kind of feels like that again i think especially because it's a new taylor swift album but we're doing like the halloween weekend we have parties that we want to go to like all of our favorite people i'm just like very excited and we have lots of concerts i'm just happy so anyways i'm gonna stop talking because it's it's been a lot it's been a while so excited one i think mastermind is like really becoming my favorite taylor swift song off of midnights um that also could be tiktok but I'm just in such a good mood. This weekend is going to be so much fun. Dom and I are having an entire ball day tomorrow. We're also going to Lizzo. Like, we just have so many cool things going on. And we're getting, like, the coolest experience because we're going with brands. I'm just so grateful for my life. And I'm so happy. So, anyways, I'm picking up Starbucks right now. She just landed, but she chucked a bag. So, the brown sugar shaken iced espresso drink, whatever, that's what Dom gets. It got discontinued. So, I had to call one of our other friends and be like, what has she been ordering lately? Like... That must be really hard on her. Anyways, I'm just in such a good mood. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Enjoy. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. I got you. This is your recent order as of Sav told me because you know yes. they discontinued the brown sugar shaken espresso drink. Don't. And if they got the order wrong, they got mine wrong too. They're just new and I, they're distressed today. What do so you, they may be dead. What that's do you okay. mean they discontinued? Yeah, that's old news. I know. I texted Presley about it the other day too. I was like, did you hear about this? Oh what? yeah. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, Woggy Woggy. How are you feeling? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. How was your flight? Just in case anyone was wondering what I was listening to. Was it Taylor Swift? Yeah. Or Tennessee State? Thank God. And I want to... I have a TikTok I want us to make of the... Um, mastermind song, but it's gonna be about me turning you into a Swifty. You're creepy because I no was literally just listening to that, oh, and well. I was literally thinking how I am a mastermind. Were you? Th I was thinking about this on the way here. I was like, what if Dom actually tricked me and like had a car the whole time, and then also her phone didn't break, and she just like was trying to become friends. Imagine. I'm like, I know. I'm imagine. I'm a no, literally. How are you a mastermind though? Um, I just am. Mm. Like I, I mean, girls, when everyone's like, oh my God, can I make the first move or whatever? I'm like, let's be honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come oh, on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it bad? No, it's just really sweet. Yeah. But I'm like kind of you're kind of it. You're kind of into it today? Like, it tastes like they put like praline in it. What's praline? I don't know. Like, you know, like, um. Oh. Like pecan the. Pecan praline. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God. That's my favorite drink. That's my favorite like, order ever. It. it literally tastes like praline. Yeah, that isn't pumpkin. Yeah, or whatever. That's definitely praline. But I'm wow, that's kind of a good drink really though. Good. Um, I'm so excited. I'm. So this is gonna be the best weekend of our whole lives, and it's like our two favorite artists. No, I like it couldn't have been a better. Like I literally can't speak right now because I'll start screaming, and that is very, very counterproductive to what I'm trying yeah. to do. I was thinking about that earlier. My God, I can't lose my voice. But we already um, know. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, I was thinking though, I'm gonna schedule an IV for Saturday. Just to have as precautions. Not yeah. that I'm planning on drinking. Last night Dom and I said we're not really drinking much this weekend. And I'm not planning on going crazy, but like even three drinks for me is like No, I And I know I will on Halloween. I'm like Saturday. I've just like cut back a lot. Like yeah. honestly I haven't I've had, cut back a ton. I haven't had a sip of alcohol in like two months. And which is yeah. And I'm just like I'm not literally wave, I just need everyone to know. Sorry, I'm like ADHD brain. Your drink is much better than mine. I have some. Like literally mine okay. is like, I don't want to have too much caffeine. Thank you, Venti. Um, and I needed this because I took three Dramamine on the plane because we had turbulence. I'm glad you brought that one up, guys. To follow up on our conversation about how Dom really so badly wants to go on a cruise, and I'm like <laughs> not into cruises, but like he teaches her own. Dom has to take Dramamine on a plane, and she thinks that she would have a good time oh, on a cruise. It's so funny because she doesn't know what I have up my sleeve. Like, it's like what do you have up your sleeve? I, we're going on a Motion cruise. sickness? Like, I'm like, and now I'm a mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're It's actually a good TikTok. Like, for... I'm literally going to mastermind Kenzie and to go. I mean, I'm, I agree to three days. Six. Anyways. I'm not. I don't even have a time on my schedule where I can do six. I have a garden to tend to. Just wait until you see the rooftop. I'm I haven't been able to clean the floor because it was raining. But... Um. Okay, guys. When Chris Stapleton plays Arkansas... 
literally cut the cameras dead ass. Like, I don't, I mean, I've been to a few country concerts now in my life. Well, you've also been a stagecoach. So yeah, seen and, and I'm learning my etiquette, but like, there is, is no etiquette at a, a country concert or anything. I'm just like saying like it might be inappropriate to twerk no. to Arkansas, yeah. but like it really just might happen They'll because I don't know why that song just really gets me going. You know what? I'm I'm making bets on tonight. Guys, every concert, every like, yeah, I guess like concert type thing, festival that we go to, there is someone in the crowd that is in love with Dom and trying, if they're like older, and trying to like marry her off into the family. And and I and have, I think that's how you're gonna meet your husband. And I've told Kenzie time and time again, like everyone's like, Dom, would you ever move? Would you <laughs> mark my cat? Like mark my words. Like the day one of these old men finally gets their sons follows through on their word. Yeah, it's usually what happens. She'll move for love, is what she's getting. Yeah, at. I'll move for love. Speaking of love, I know you don't watch TV. You love is blind. Fun. Is filming in Dallas like this? I know. I got year. there was like an event for it or like a premiere or something. It's really disrespectful how she doesn't watch the show. When I see Bartiz, like, if you wondering like what I'm doing this weekend besides like having the best time of my life with my girls, I am literally like this, like a hawk watching, searching. That's a good TikTok too. Scavenger. <laughs> no, I was gonna make it because I was like, I am looking. Where is Bartiz? And when I see him, this drink. This beautiful drink that the Starbucks employees made on accident is literally going in his face. I'm so sorry. And I know that's assault, but I think that everyone, everyone would agree when everyone would start my GoFundMe and bail me out of jail because he is so trash can if you're watching the show. I, I saw Amanda's story too. Mm -hmm. it. And like, he's like a bad guy. Ghetto, ghetto boots down the house. Like, girl, girl LMAO, like, leave him. Wow. You would watch it and literally be disturbed because the girl that he is with, Nancy, is a girl boss. She has like rental properties. And that's like her that's really thing. Cool. Yeah. And she pays for everything Genius. in cash. Wow. Like she, like all this stuff. And he's literally like a bump on the log. I'm like, you're, you're gonna get a boots, boots, boots house down. No one likes you. Do you know like where he hangs out? Have you like recognized anything on Instagram? You know what? He would hang out at 77. <laughs> okay. He Say would no be more. at 77. Uh, yeah, and honestly, he probably is. Yeah. He would be at 77 weekly. Got it. Weekly, rather Like on a weeknight. On a weeknight yeah, for okay. sure. Scheming In 77's defense, we did go through a period of time. We did, but we really liked it. And then we, our eyes were opened and I realized maybe this isn't the place for me. And the thing about 77 too is like, I get it, man. Like it's, it's the, the physical spot itself. Yeah, like I think it served its time and its place. But, yeah. but now it's like, if you go to 77, it's kind of dark. It's like embarrassing. Yeah, like, like, it's, it, like yeah. it's low vibrational. Yes, like it's Very like, why are you there? Like there's other, like go to high five, yeah, go across the street. Yeah, like, yeah. like there's, it's kind of low like, vibrational. Very low vibrational. Very low. <laughs> also the people, like the guys there are just like creepy. But. Creepy and he is like such they, a. And they're also like, yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's a really nice school bus. Okay, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoy. I have to stop recording. Dom, what do you see over there? I see <sighs> the promised land. And it's just like, it's just like, what do you do when you're, when you're between a rock and a hard place? Like, <laughs> this, like, if I. Wow. And honestly, Halloween night, like. Oh, yeah. Saturday. Sorry, not Halloween night. Well, but Saturday, the party we're going to is like right over here. Yes. I really might just have to tap in. I might have to, and have to. I've really Let's just order it to the party. Yeah, I've really just been trying to stay away from dairy because IBS has really taken over my life. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm so sorry. Like, there really might have to be an exception on Saturday because, I get that. So, wow. like, I don't even think you guys understand. We're talking about Zalot, by the way, which is a pizza place that Dom loves when she's drunk. Like that. Every single time she ate, and she ate again, and she ate again, and for the last time she ate, and the first time she ate, like, she will never stop eating. Wow. And I just think it's, like, if you live here, like, know that you are blessed, that you just can order and Highly that. favored. Blessed and highly favored. That, Wabi House. Oh, yeah. And Zap, Zap which Zap. we're also literally Jesus passing right now. Rice. Zap is so good. Well, Zap's last night, kitchen. 
Last night, I um, made a healthier version of Drunken Noodles. I saw that. Definitely tastes healthier. <laughs> um, but it's really, it is really good. It's just like the, the part of the Pad Thai, too, is like so good. insane. So but like, I feel like honestly, that was just so fall. Yeah, I agree. That okay, like, I have to go. That was but like our bye, fall. guys. Dom, close your eyes. You're gonna have to walk up the stairs with your eyes closed. I'm sorry, I can't do that. But no, you look down at the It's ground. okay, I'll help you. I'll make sure you don't fall off. Okay, can I, what if I just go like this? Okay, I guess that'll work. I guess. All right. Okay, Dominique. Keep walking up, but you can't look yet. Okay. Keep walking up. Okay, 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 okay. You can look now. Oh my gosh. Are you just oh so God, impressed? Amazing. Well, have you noticed? Ignore the jerk because that was from the storm and I, I can't mean, clean it yet. That's not your fault. Look what at it. This. Have you noticed my garden over here? Yeah. Oh no. It looks like. Wait. Did someone loot? Wait, what the fuck? I think there's like an animal up here. Wait, what the hell? Mess with my garden. I don't even remember what I planted there now. I have photos. I haven't used my planter thing there, but uh. Guys, I'm like actually pissed. Like why? Also, that's like where stuff was. Can someone explain this to me? Anyways, don't worry. Just gonna put a little light water in the garden. You know. Woo! That looks so magical. Woo! Got some peppers, some garlic, some onions, some uh. Lots of things over here. We got some basil, got some rosemary, we got some thyme. Wow. I actually am having to water these more than I'm like really supposed to. So, uh, oh yeah, we just got some beautiful little flowers over here. You'll also notice this little fenced off AC in the unit over here looking better. I've also got some storage back there. It's exciting, isn't it? Now, I just want to let you know that when we were cleaning up this rooftop, we had we had to clean off some of the red stuff from our pregame that we hosted. Oh, wow, ago. you have a hose up here now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean business. I remember the olden days. When... Well, I've had a hose up here before when I had like a little, you know, when I had my pool up here. But, oh, um, yeah. Seems to be looking pretty nice. Just uh, need the. It's going to really bother me. Also, I swear to God, like, what animals on my rooftop? Do you think it's a rat? Can rats get up here? I feel like rats can get anywhere. Realistically, rats I think really it's a can. rat over a squirrel. That's really scary though. And I don't want to put anything like a trap because like what if like Coco is here? Yeah. So I, I'm like literally gonna fight this rat. Like this rat is just, I love animals. <laughs> like I'm literally- No, I'm so sorry about, do we like rats? Like- No, we don't like rats. You should make that video with the New York. Like these rats. No, you're gonna hate this announcement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally. Okay, I don't even know where my room is because now I have to clean. But anyways, hope you are loving my roof update, Dom. It looks like a magical garden, right? It does. Minus the, you know, I like it. <laughs> Don't mind that. Um, yeah, it's awesome. You know much better looking. I got the um, roof cleaned and you know, then it rained. So, uh, this is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Just, there's not much you can do about it, but I wish. Bye. This is what Dom wants to wear to the Chris Stapleton concert. Let me show you what I'm actually wearing. I told Kenzie, I'm like, do I look like Lindsay Buckingham CV Nix collab? Or is it like cowboy take me? Mm. Or is it giving this is the greatest showman? I went through a bunch of outfit changes. My new sweater that I got from three people is too big. And the jeans didn't look good tucked in, but I need good jeans that look like I just I have skinny jeans for the purpose of over the knee boots. I think mean, I would never be caught dead in skinny jeans, but it's like yeah, that what I have to wear. Well, I just think, you know, I just think no. Like, but I think, other people wear their jeans tucked into their boots and it looks cute. How do they do that? How do they? No, they, they I do. I know, and that, how do they is the question. No, I think you, when you do it's it. It's like fashion girls. Yeah. Like, very Princess Diana. Yeah. I think, too, like, their, their calves might be smaller and because these boots just are, like, a little bit tighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I need to get all my boots widened, but you can't do that to all of them. I need these boots shorter. They have them. I did a deal with them. If they have these boots shorter, I will literally buy them. I all. literally did a, I don't know where they are. I think they're actually in my car, but. Cause this, they're in my other closet. Me, 
Like if they but, were this size. I don't know if they're exactly like, yeah. You know what I mean? I say that as also look, I'm so sorry, Kenzie. Forgive me. Feel really good. All that will be gone tomorrow. Taryn's gonna pick it up. But uh anyways. My sister's over here showering and she's already gone over her a lot of time that I gave her and I need to get ready. So I'm gonna go kick her out of my shower. She's not having a hard time, but she's playing like really emo Taylor Swift music and we're like, you good? She's definitely fine because if she wasn't good, you would know. So, anyways. Move, this is me tonight. This is me on my way to Chris Stapleton. Guys, like look at how incredible this lighting is. Like it's lit it's just stunned. If you've ever wondered how we take our Instagram photos in here, or if you've seen Lauren's as well, it's this light, okay? Let me turn it off. I don't even know where it's from because I think it was sent to me. I remember when they... Oh. Like, and what, we just happened to pull it out and like, yeah. and no one, I, this makes sense why everyone uses a ring light. It's Bloom Me Cube. Cube, Bloom Cube, Bloom Cube, Bloom Cube. What everyone uses, but know. it's the stick thing. It's the cube panel, I'll try to link it. Um, it's really great, love it. It, it takes incredible like, photos. Like we just had like a 20 minute photo shoot. Yeah. Actually like 10 minute, yeah. but taking the dogs out and then we're going to Chris Stapleton. <laughs> so excited. Hey guys, got a margarita. She got a Diet Pepsi. We are at Dickie's. Gonna go to our floors. Not me thinking it was Dickie's barbecue. That actually sounds so good right now. Like so good. I love Dickie's barbecue. Dickie's arena. Okay guys, we're back from the concert. It is midnight. That is way past my bedtime. I'm like literally dead. Okay, I want you guys to know that quite literally two minutes ago, we were passing the bars and Dom begged to stop. Dude, because, dude, high fives in the whip looked so like litty titty and I, like everything else was dead. You guys live in Dallas. What are your thoughts on the whip? Personally, I love. Personally, I love too. I've like had so many great memories there. I tried to get- We were like shitting on 77 in this vlog and now yeah. people are gonna be like, are you kidding? <laughs> well, the gag is, I, I have really good memories at the whip because one time I was taught I fell in love with a security guard So I was talking to this other security guard about how he needs to help me scheme to get this security guard to fall in love with me But then the security guard at the whip ended up falling in love with me and giving me his number and telling me to text him Letting me cut in line in front of everyone when he said no cutting allowed So I just feel very welcome there yeah, you're very loved. I am. Yeah. So, anyways, Chris Stapleton was incredible. He's like the only. I've gone to like every single concert there's ever been, ever. Love concerts. Also, I grew up going to them. What? No, I was just like, it's true. Oh. Um, my uncle worked for Kiss FM. Well, he just like works for radio, so I always got to like go to concerts and stuff. And I think Chris Stapleton like was out of any artist I've ever heard live literally the exact same in person if not better i feel like that's like the best thing about honestly like going to a country concert is like their voice is their voice you know it's not yeah. really like a dance routine or like an entertainment like thing tune. yeah it's just like them singing it's very it's, raw yeah it's so it's awesome. like you know what you know what why you like that because hmm. it's like worship music <laughs> oh dumb oh my god you're gonna literally kill my car i don't why my windshield wipers fell off in the both of them in my in two different times in my car wash. They Isn't that crazy? Off? Like the extens extenders. I have new oh ones on the way. Anyways, but like how did I don't know how that happened. was that God telling you something? I just turned off the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, we shouldn't waste gas. 
interesting. Well, anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog, we've got some more videos coming your way. Don't worry. Tomorrow, we're having a whole fall day. Oh my gosh. We're going to the mall. We're getting Starbucks. Guys, like, I'm literally about to shut free people down. Free people in anthropology, like, <laughs> shut your doors. I want to do Aritzia. I want to do... I also want to Found go to the, the Ugg works. store. Oh, yeah. The Uggs. girls have literally ransacked the Ugg store in Los Angeles. Ours is good. Ours is good. I went the other like, day. Like, literally, I went, and there, like the line was, like, wrapped around the building three times over, and I was like... See, I didn't have these issues because Uggs never came out, like, went out for me. I just always had some. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Anyways... Weird. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Love you so much. I would say definitely if I could give, like, a tip about a wedding, I would say book your venue first and get a wedding planner. <laughs> it's, like, my best tip I could give you.